Hey, what's up you guys? Superboy Reviews here and today we're going to be looking at the uh, Build-A-Figure Kingpin. Um, and uh, here he is. So, a lot of you guys know who Kingpin is. Um, so Kingpin is Wilson Fisk and he is the basically the leader of all the organized crime um, in basically in New York City. Um, Mostly um, in Hell's Kitchen, where Daredevil works, and he has a lot of, of run-ins with Spider-Man as well. So those are some of his main um, adversaries, are Spider-Man and Daredevil. Um, and he was recently uh, in the Hawkeye uh, series on Disney+. Plus. So I thought that it would be maybe a good time to review him. Um, spoilers, sorry about that. Um, so, Wilson Fisk, um, as a youth he was bullied. And so he bulked up his body so that he could strike back against the bullies who tormented him. And uh, he actually murdered the, for the first time when he was 12. Uh, it was the first time that he killed somebody. And at 15, he led a street gang, um, and uh, he eventually became the kingpin of crime, or short for short, kingpin. So, um, he's a pretty imposing character. Um, sometimes he's depicted with almost like superhuman strength. Um, like in the Into the Spider-Verse movie, he's able to kill Spider-Man with one hit, uh, like a pound like down down pound with both of his big fists. Um so his real name's Wilson Grant Fisk. Um he is uh based in New York City. He's six foot seven um according to the Marvel Encyclopedia. So in the Marvel Legends form he's yeah he's definitely taller than six foot seven it, like for scaling. Uh, most figures are about six and a half inches, so those should be about six, uh, six foot. And uh, he's almost like seven and a half inches, so maybe he is in scale. He's definitely in scale, like whenever I have everyone together on the shelf, he looks okay next to um, like Spider-Man and Daredevil. You know, he should look pretty huge. Um, so... He's uh, surprisingly strong. He basically can take hits from Spider-Man and Daredevil. Um, so he's a pretty big guy, but they were still able to give him pretty decent articulation. Um, so his head uh, um, doesn't look up too much, but you know you can get him inside of that kind of like um, thinking pose, like mastermind kind of pose, um, looking at the sky. And um, uh, his jacket's molded in a really soft plastic, so really cool. I like that they went with the white suit for him, because I think that there was a Toy Biz one where he had like a, uh, maybe like a purple suit and like a blue shirt, which is kind of weird, but. Um, so his arms can move out into a T, as high as you would need them, and then he move all the way around and his hand does come out uh guys let me know in the comments i couldn't find if he had another fist um that i'm missing um but uh he you know he has an open hand here and then a fisted hand with his ring um if he does have uh the fisted hand i i, I could not find it um you know so you can get him in those like double fist fisted um uh angry poses you know like where he's about to bash somebody um and then his hand keeps coming off but it's just kind of loose so um his elbows they bend a little bit less than 90 degrees um i mean he's a pretty fat um character so it makes sense that he won't be as posable as like a really skinny agile character um he has a waist um or a torso movement it only really goes side to side you can't really get it going like one uh, back and forth or front to back um, 
but that's all right. He's he mo he's mostly just gonna stand there, looking really big and and scary. Um, his leg moves forward, not not very high, and it mostly just moves out to the side. Um, same thing for the other side. Doesn't go back um, basically at all. Um, and then for his knee bend is a little bit less than ninety degrees. Um, his shoes are pretty cool. They're like. They look like alligator skin, like loafers. If you wanna see that, they have like a leathery texture to them, which is pretty cool. Um, and he does have ports on the bottom of his feet, so you can get him on a stand. Um, his he doesn't have any real ankle pivot, and his feet don't really move either. Um, He's a really cool figure, though. Um, you know, he doesn't need to be in crazy dynamic poses or anything. Um, so he also has another head sculpt. So it's this really angry head right here. And this one is the one you would want to use if you're going to have him in, like, that striking pose. Um, yeah, he looks really angry. And I think that that is just a really, really cool head sculpt. And it's really well painted as well. Um, and then lastly, this actually came with the, um, Professor Xavier, um, in the hover chair, um, is a Shadow King head. So Shadow King is, um, uh, he's basically almost also a crime boss, but in, um, uh, I think he's in Cairo, um, in Egypt, um, so, yeah, uh, some background on him. Uh, he, in the animated series, um, he, like, owns, kind of, like, owns um, Storm when she's young. Um, and he forces her to, like, do crimes and other things with her powers. And he keeps her, like, locked up in a box. And that's what, part of why uh, she has uh, claustrophobia. Um, and uh, he has, like, astral mind powers. And he has, like, a crazy cool battle with uh, Professor X and Jean Grey in the show, too. Um, uh, the figure comes with the, um, this cool, uh, walking stick, or a cane, sorry, with, like, a gem on it. I think in one of the comics, like, it, the gem has some kind of power. Um, and even, like, there's a picture here in the encyclopedia of him, like, shooting Spider-Man with his cane, so I'm not sure if it's just, like, a gun cane, or maybe it's, like, a magic stone on the cane. Um, but you could use it for, um, Shadow King or for, um, or Kingpin. But, yeah, um, I wanted to take him out and let you guys have a look at him since he, uh, came out in Hawkeye. Um, I won't spoil anything else other than he's in there. Um... So I definitely think you should uh, pick him up. Uh, he's pretty expensive if you buy him complete. Um, and and if you try and um, build him. Um, like More likely it'll be a little bit uh, cheaper to just buy him. Um, and like already completed. If you can find him that way. Um, and then probably the easiest thing. If you do want to have a Shadow King head. Um, uh, you can still get the... Professor X in the chair uh, for a pretty okay price and um, he'll probably have this head in there if you get a complete um, uh, So yeah guys, thanks for watching um, I uh, Would recommend this figure if you want to have like a cool like rogues gallery uh, set up uh, for spider-man villains or for daredevil villains um, And yeah, he's pretty awesome. Thanks. Bye